Chris Carter, Ryan Boyle, and the man, Paul Rabel, is here with us. All right, we were looking at each other at every break, saying, I'm just going to catch my breath after that, man. Yeah, how, yeah. how did you feel about that first half? Incredible game of lacrosse. It's yeah. something we've all been looking forward to. Sixes, Olympic format, but I, I think we're going to really feel the, the pace of traditional lacrosse matched with basketball. In terms of big picture, obviously so much of this leading up to the Olympics, how does this tie into that? Well, look, Ryan, you always know that I like to talk about the state of the league, uh, but I'm not going to tonight. I'm not going to tonight. Tonight's about you. So actually, I, I want to move you to the middle. Uh -oh. I don't know if we can yeah. do this. Uh -oh. We're in the middle. Uh -oh. Because uh -oh. Cotter and I's shoulders are too big, one. Uh, <laughs> but, but two, uh, look, as your former teammate for five years with the Boston Cannons, in your incredible career at MLL, having won four championships, not just myself, but teammates and coaches around the world can talk about their time with you from Princeton, to MLL, NLL, Team USA. You know that last year we launched our inaugural Professional Lacrosse Hall of Fame. And among our second class, we haven't announced it yet, but you are our first to be named. Congratulations oh, wow, to a That's former awesome. teammate and brother. We're so proud of you. Yep, and we uh, prepared a video to cue to you for halftime. Did you know about this guy? No. Both teams out of timeouts. It's out of the coach's hands at this stage. 40 seconds to see it. Winding down shot coming in. There's the game. Prager wins it all for Princeton. Prager from Boyle. Princeton does it again in overtime. I'm in the pros, I'm playing for the Barrage, and our GM comes to me and he says, hey, we're thinking about drafting Ryan Boyle. And I'm like, no, you're not. You're going to draft him because if you don't, you'll be a fool. And Ryan shows up and we win a championship. Philadelphia Barrage. Ryan is, is an absolute shoo-in for the Lacrosse Hall of Fame. It's pushed. And a knife through two. He could tell every player from every position what he should be doing at any time during the game. He has the malleability as a player to be different and, and chameleon-like adaption. He's the single most floor-raising impactful player that I've ever been around. Boyle, bang! Orion was at a total another level as a player, but he was also a coach on the field. He would look at all the ingredients and say, well, this is what we have. So now we're going to make the best meal out of it. His understanding and knowledge of people was second to none. From the minute I met him, when he was a freshman, his understanding of lacrosse was so much more advanced than guys who'd been playing the game for four years under Coach T and Coach Metzbau. We'd watch film together, and he'd actually make me see stuff in a different view. Everywhere he's going, he's won put up points and he won championships at every place he went. It's no coincidence that everybody who plays with him has their best years when they play with Ryan. I'm just one of many dudes, many teammates, that he took with him somewhere to win something. Finally goes to Boston. I've been in the booth with Ryan a couple of times and his ability to predict what's next is uncanny. With Ryan, you know, there's so much that's said about his intelligence and it's no coincidence that he's now, you know, the voice of the PLL. What was the that personality is real. That is Ryan. That's super authentic. See what's about to happen. You can kind of explain what's happening and why it's happening. Because why, Ryan? He's a stretch shooter of this bunch. You look at the championships and you look at the impact that he had on two different franchises professionally. I venture to say that if he was in the coaching world, I wouldn't want him coaching against me. I don't, I don't see the end of the road for Ryan. I think he, this is just another step in his progress. That's amazing. Thank you so much for bringing that in here, Paul. That's a, that's great stuff. That's amazing. I'm, 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 am I allowed to talk? I don't, I don't know how this works. I'm, I'm, I'm flattered. All yours, for once, I don't have words. No, I have words. I, I'm incredibly touched. I'm, I'm honored um, in, in, in so many ways. The, the the fact that you got those people to, to speak is, is truly amazing, and, and I'm touched from the bottom of my heart, and it's such an incredible honor. And what you've built here uh, with the PLL and, and where this is going is, is something that I'm so thrilled to be a part of, um, and I'm just, I'm, 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 yeah, I don't know what to say. Just to see some of those faces is, uh, is, is pretty, is pretty incredible. So our second Hall of Fame class will be fully announced on March 23rd, and then you will be honored in Baltimore in August at our Homewood game here with the PLL. So make sure you pack that hipster suit that you're always in. <laughs> There's new shiny shoes too. You can't see those. I promise you, they're fly. Hey man, thanks, uh, good, thanks a lot, Paul. Appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of the game, guys. Thanks, Paul. Ryan. Wasn't your teammate on the field, but I certainly am happy to be your teammate in the booth.